Kiev siamo con Alexander Karchenko, che è il direttore dell'Istituto di Ricerca per l'Energia di Kiev, e a cui chiediamo, Sir, uh, first of all, can you give us a short assessment of the damage today to the uh, electrical system, to the power generation system in Ukraine after the Russian bombing? Last week, uh, Russians concentrated on huge-scale bombing of Ukrainian energy system. They attacked both high-voltage power with and generation capacity. Uh, they spent in this last week uh, near 300 uh, missiles and drones to attack. 300? Near 300 of uh, missiles and drones and from 22 March to moment when we are talking today, I hope, oh, but 29, yeah. yeah, that one week near 300. It's really uh, huge. It's the most uh, scalable attack for all time of war. It's the biggest attack of all time of war. Uh, they really uh, damage uh, both high voltage power retail generation capacity. And in this situation, more dangerous for us is their damages to generation capacity because it's very long time needed for repair. And now we still have evaluation, but we have some preliminary understanding that we lost 10, 12 percent of our generation. Sir, uh, comparison with last year. Last year, there was a total blackout for a certain period. The Russians really attack all your generation, all your electrical system. Large part of the city were, were in blackout, cold, and, uh, and they died. Uh, what is today? Can you compare what the Russians are doing today to what they did last year? Uh, We already adopted to the tactics and strategy which they used last year. And this year uh, they tried to repeat. It was unsuccessful. They understand this and they adopt itself. And they change their attacks. Now they understood that they can't obtain a blackout. They tried one more time in 22 March. It was unsuccessful. And now they are not focusing themselves on blackout of national scale. They are just trying to kill some objects in regions, region by region, uh, to make uh, a most complicated situation in that region, especially this is industrial related regions with big production and with big economy part. And of course, when you lost electricity supply, your economy goes down. And it's very neg it has very negative influence to Ukrainian economy in general. Last question. Uh, what? Can you say that, uh, can you tell us how much of your energy now is coming from the European bank? You are importing energy in order to compensate the loss. How much? Uh, if you're talking about last week, especially, uh, it's up to 3-4% of our general consumption moving from the Europe to Ukraine. How much? It's not much yet. But uh, it looks like if they will repeat these attacks again and again, we will need them. Thank you.